My, I made my way over to the kitchen where we have Chef Wes Depp from Red Sky Cafe in Duck, North Carolina. As always, it's great to see you. Welcome back. Good to see you. And uh, what are we cooking this morning? Uh, we got a couple of local favorites down there, and this seasonal type thing. I talked to my girl yesterday uh, down in Kitty Hawk Bow, and she said she had a few getting ready. In a couple of weeks, they're going to go full on where the soft shells. So soft we're going to get a little jump on it and do a couple soft shells today. Very nice. Also, we have sheep's head, which you uh, say you've caught quite a bit of. I have. And um, basically, I'm going to whip that up as well. So and. Fresh asparagus, spring is sprung, so spring sprung on the Outer Banks. Spring is sprung, that's right. It's, it's uh, Easter week on the Outer Banks, and we're going to be talking tastefully fit and see what's new in Wes's world. Stick around, everybody. We'll get started in just a moment. All righty, we're back in the kitchen with Chef Wes Depp from Red Sky Cafe down in beautiful Duck, North Carolina. As always, welcome back to the, the big show. Thank you. Hey, so here we are, uh, head chef. Broadcaster, two of the worst jobs. Fifth career. and six, right? Yeah, fifth and six by career cast. I mean, but I love my job. How about you? I tell you what, I've, I've always loved my job, and uh, but sometimes it does get crazy, huh? Sometimes it gets crazy. I guess it's because of the stress. But so, how are things in uh, Duck and in Red Sky Cafe? How are things treating you? Everything's good. We got a lot of people down visiting this week. Needless to say. And uh, with spring break, That's this is right. sheep's head. I got a little bit of Cajun oh, spice. Oh, so you're gonna on get it. cooking on us, all right? I'm gonna get cooking on you, and. Um, Anyway, it's been a great week. It's been beautiful weather down there, except yeah. for today, because it's a little chilly out there oh, today. Well. You know what I mean? Oh, well, but, but I tell you what, they can still walk on the beach. Yes. Beautiful sunset, sunrise. Still plenty to do. The Outer Banks is welcoming everyone down there right now. So, uh, and we're glad to have everybody coming back. You Getting know? ready for the big Easter buffet at Red Sky Cafe. You got Tell it. me all about it. Okay, what we do is we do three different uh, special events each year. We do a um, Easter br brunch buffet. We do a Mother's Day and we do a Thanksgiving, and it is a smorgasbord. It's got a little bit of everything from local um, oysters to lamb to duck to you name it, man. You it's on it. there. Yeah, yeah, shrimp and grits are on there. A lot of people come, a lot of families. We get people year after year after year. I've remodeled the restaurant again, so oh, it nice. looks really cool. It's Very different nice. from the last time you came in. Very, I can't wait to see it. And um, I'm really excited. I'm real excited about the season, too. Okay, so reservations for Sunday's uh, big Easter brunch. Now, what are you cooking for us today? Okay, we got sheep's head today, which you just bring up a picture of it. Yeah, let's talk about sheep's head. <laughs> what an interesting fish. Not only does it taste good, but look at it. I mean, it doesn't get a lot of respect because of the look. It's got human teeth. It it's a beautiful fish, but go back to the teeth. Look at that. It looks like a horse. It needs a good dentist. Is what yes, it, it needs. does. When you catch one, you look at its mouth, you go, my goodness. But that, that his teeth are pretty good. Looks like he had orthodontist. <laughs> he had braces. Well, so that's your sheep's head right there. Sheep's head is also, it cooks really quick. We're going to have this done in this segment. I got a little Cajun spice on it, a little North Carolina shrimp. Um, what else we got going on? Oh, what else? It's got a lot of caterings coming up. Oh, and weddings too. And weddings coming yeah. up. We got one coming up on Saturday for uh, Haley and Ryan. They're locals down there. And we are keeping our fingers uh, crossed for Haley and Ryan. There you go. We're it's going to be beautiful. It's going to be beautiful. Might be a little chilly. They're going to be inside. We're going to rock that oh, food down perfect. there for them. And um, anyway, we got a whole bunch of weddings coming up in May as well. Plus, I'm doing the tastefully fit stuff down there a lot now. Right. And um, that's where I'm doing an all healthy, clean eating type, different recipes. I'm going to be going to Greenville in May to do that. To Talking do to the sheriffs? No, that's going to be the for the Greenville Police Department. The Police Department. Wow, yeah. Greenville, that's a big it's police a, department too, isn't it? It is a big police department. It's all corporals and above, and I can't wait. I'm looking forward to it. Everybody's really wanting to get on. Look at that. How quick is cooked. And that looks beautiful. Now, as this dish is healthy in itself, and you know what? Not very long. I'm going to put a little fresh asparagus. I got that from Curry Tuck. Very nice. Some things are blooming up there. When are you coming back down, Keith? Uh, you know, I, I, end of summer. I'll be down end in, of summer? Yeah, end of summer in August. So hopefully I get down there before then. But I'm right now scheduled for end of summer. So. I'm looking forward to getting Ariane down there. Boom. You know, I hope she gets down there so she can discover the beauty of the OBX. What is that right there, Chris? You know? Uh, that looks like grits. Redneck risotto, you got redneck it, buddy. Redneck risotto. <laughs> so we're putting a little sheep set over redneck risotto. Fresh shrimp. You're going to love that, aren't you? I can't wait. I mean, you know. A fish that looks Boom. that funny has got to be delicious. Now, tastefully fit or not, how do you want to do I want a lot of flavor. I got a little roasted corn salsa going across the top of that sucker. And then we always like to make it look pretty because the first bite's taken with... 
your eyes. You My man, right. West Step, wrapping it up. We're going to cook soft shells in the next segment, so stick around. Good job, Wes. There you go. We are back in the kitchen with Chef West Step from Red Sky Cafe down in beautiful Duck, North Carolina. And let me just say this uh, it feels good next to the flame. You know, it's nice <laughs> and warm because. It got a little chilly out there. Yes, it did. What happened to spring? All those spring breakers down in the Outer Banks this week, and <laughs> they got a couple of great days. They're on the beach, and all of a sudden, boom! You know, it's a good day to go out and have lunch at the Red Sky Cafe. It is a, exactly. It's always a good day to have lunch at Red Sky Cafe. Not just lunch, but dinner. And there when you go. go there, what do you? What, what? What should people ask for right Whoa, now? Whoa! Careful now, buddy. She's popping. We're popping. Okay, we got the soft shells working. I do got soft shells on special today. Uh -oh. Um. Um. We change our, our nightly features every day, every night. Yeah. I'm getting ready to change the whole menu over. I still got to, um, we're doing a real nice fresh menu, all focusing a lot on local products as well as the agriculture, as well as the seafood, of course. Um, I'll be cooking tomorrow night, so if they want to come in tomorrow night and meet me, I'll be there. And tell when you do, tell them you see Wes on, on the Hampton Road Show. Just tell say, them you hey. see me on the Hampton Road Show. I'll hook you up with an appetizer. Yeah, so there no, you go. There you have it, just like that. Now, if you're going into Duck and you're heading north, you, and you, you know, it's right there, right in the downtown, big bustling downtown of Duck. Oh, yeah, big bustling downtown of Duck. Is there a stoplight? You don't even have a stoplight, do you? We don't need no stoplight. You don't have a stoplight. <laughs> They're going slow. But it's on the right. Duck. It's right on the right. Go yeah. slow. You see the water on the left and Red Sky on the right. Yep, it's a beautiful place to have a business and it's a beautiful place to be. We were talking about that earlier. Um, what else do I got going on? We got the buffet coming up on Sunday, the brunch, okay? Yep. And you know, I was listening to you, the taste for yours and mm -hmm. all the different, our community down there, we do a lot of different fundraisers and stuff as well. I've been a part of a lot of them. We got one coming up next Tuesday it's for Outer Banks Cares. It's at the Outer Banks Brewing Station and it's for SPCA, but we just, they just did one a couple weeks ago for a local guy down there uh, at Goombay's, which was awesome. Nice. And you know what? I love the Outer Banks because we get all you all coming down and visiting us. And so we get the influx of the out-of-towners, but we also get a really tight community. In the wintertime, everybody knows everybody down there. Now, look at these things. And, and you know what you were saying? You know, we always talk about how beautiful it is down the Outer Banks. Not only is it beautiful, but the people down there are phenomenal. I mean, you're talking about country kind, great people who do anything for you, shirt off their back. I mean, just super nice people down there. People are not down there by accident. They really like that laid back in the winter and then, you know, that's capers, by the way. Yep. Okay, kosher salt and fresh cracked pepper. We're going to make a classic dish that a lot of people do with chicken out there, but we're going to do it with soft shell crabs, show the versatility of our fresh local seafood. Now you See, say classic, classic in, in what way? It's a piccata. Oh, okay. So basically we're doing lemon. I got a little bit of white wine here. Mm -hmm. You can see those soft shells. They're nice and brown on one side. I basically cooked them through. They hit it with a little bit. Oh yeah, that's rocking. Looks good. Now, I'm gonna go ahead. This is not a tastefully fit option, the way I'm doing it right here, although I could do it like that. I'm mixing in a little bit of whole butter. And look at that, it makes a sauce when you cook it down in there. Oh, now you're talking. Our soft shells are done, boom, boom. We might get a visitor next weekend. You heard this, right, Chris? I know, I heard somebody's gonna be going down to the OBX for the first time. Yes. Unbelievable. I can't wait. I'm gonna be, I'll take them all to Corona. My co-host, Ariane. We're gonna go. She's, she's Ooh, gonna say, that. man, why didn't I discover this sooner? To try she's to tell you, <laughs> Outer Banks, no place to like it in the world. That's it's awesome. kind of like Alaska, except it's warmer and uh, <laughs> it's kind of, it's kind of, just like Alaska. Everybody knows everybody. <laughs> everybody knows everybody. And here we go. We finished that sucker off. Instead of moose, you got wild horses. Yes, right. And we wild do not horses, make everybody. earrings out of wild horse dung. Yeah, that's down there. right. So it might Careful. be a new trend. Stay out of the dunes, everybody. I went ahead and roasted this duck off while we were chilling. Okay, cool. Show and you I just duck. show you what exactly I just. Cooked it in its own fat, mm -hmm. rendered it, baked it off in the oven while we were doing this thing, and it just sort of shows all the different variations that is going to be on the menu come Easter brunch. Easter brunch. This Easter is an ikema slaw. Boom, right across the top. Pickled ginger, a little seaweed salad. We're also going to have seared rare tuna. We're going to have smoked salmon. It really has got everything for our grandma to a foodie that really wants to just like kick it up a notch. Yeah, if you want to treat yourself to a wonderful day, don't forget uh, the 
Easter brunch is Sunday. Make reservations and don't forget Red Sky Cafe is open daily. Located at 1197 Duck Road in Duck, North Carolina. Give them a call 252-261-8646 or look them up online redskycafe.com. Like I said, you're going down the road. You're heading north. It's right there on the ride. You can't miss it. Look for it. You'll be glad you did. Wes, great Thanks, job brother. as Good always. Have you. a great Easter. You too.